Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, verse 21-22. And for more video like this, subscribe our channel. Arjun was a skilled warrior, and the most powerful Hanuman was sitting on top of his magnificent chariot. Moreover, his devotion towards the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna was such that the Lord himself had agreed to be Arjun's charioteer. Here, Arjun was seated on the passenger seat giving instructions to Sri Krishna, his charioteer. He addresses the Lord as Achyuta, the most dependable one, and requests him to place the chariot in the middle of the battlefield. Although Lord Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, out of his causeless mercy, he was engaged in the service of his friend. He never fails in his affection for his devotees, and thus he is addressed herein as infallible. As charioteer, he had to carry out the orders of Arjuna, and since he did not hesitate to do so, he is addressed as infallible. Although he had accepted the position of a charioteer for his devotee, his supreme position was not challenged. In all circumstances, he is the supreme personality of Godhead, Hersakisa, the lord of the total senses. The relationship between the lord and his servitor is very sweet and transcendental. The servitor is always ready to render service to the Lord, and similarly, the Lord is always seeking an opportunity to render some service to the devotee. He takes greater pleasure in his pure devotees assuming the advantageous position of ordering him than he does in being the giver of orders. Since he is master, everyone is under his orders, and no one is above him to order him. But when he finds that a pure devotee is ordering him, he obtains transcendental pleasure although he is the infallible master in all circumstances. As a pure devotee of the Lord, Arjuna had no desire to fight with his cousins and brothers, but he was forced to come on to the battlefield by the obstinacy of Duryodhana, who was never agreeable to any peaceful negotiation. Therefore, he was very anxious to see who the leading persons present on the battlefield were. Although there was no question of a peacemaking endeavor on the battlefield, he wanted to see them again and to see how much they were bent upon demanding an unwanted war.